Hey, welcome back. Dr. Matt here. <clears throat> so wearing sunscreen every single day, is it a good idea or is it a good, potentially bad idea? One thing I find troubling is often uh, people acting on things that seem like a good idea, but in reality, they may actually be detrimental to their health. You know, actually the very thing you're doing to help yourself out may actually be hurting you. So that's why we're always trying to bring honest truth here, right? You know, people are doing this thing, they're putting sunscreen on their face, on their skin, I mean, on their, on their arms, legs, day after day after day, thinking that they're helping themselves out. They're decreasing risk of, you know, cancer, of skin aging, these kind of things. But in reality, they're actually probably damaging their health in the process. Because one thing we know, we need the sun to survive. The sun is essential for life. And one thing I always want to stay way ahead, stay way ahead of, um, and make sure I'm educating my fellow health accumulators about, is um, you know staying away from things that have a semblance of health benefit, but are in fact just a facade. You know, it's another one of those things that um, companies can make a whole lot of money off of if we're putting sunscreen on our bodies every single day versus like four or five times a year, right? So many times these things are way oversimplifying how the body works, how our bodies interact with the environment, with the sun, like we're talking about right now, uh, and trying to put a kind of one size fits all for every human in the industrialized world who's access to sunscreen. So if you've ever been on a weight loss plan, then you know your results do not equal your buddy's results. Even though you are following the exact same plan, you're eating the same, exercising the same, sleeping the same, you know, all these things are seemingly identical, but yet you are getting potentially either very drastic difference in um, weight changes, body composition changes, um, or, uh, or just, you know, unsimilar ones, right? So. The first idea, or this idea that um, you know, wearing sunscreen every day is healthy for our skin, that we need it, you know, that slowing aging, all this kind of stuff. You know, I know of zero research to back this up. That applying sunscreen daily, there's, there's, if there's any long-term research showing that this is to our benefit, you know, sure, we don't want to get sunburned, sun burning, burning our skin, frying oxidative stress on our skin excessively. That's a problem. But continually blocking our body's exposure to the sun. We are losing out there, folks. We are losing out on one of nature's most life-giving substances. <clears throat> I mean, think about it. What happens when the sun comes out? You know, if the sun's out on a regular basis with minimal cloud cover, do we not feel better? Do we not feel like our, our lives lighten up? Things are brighter, things are better. We take, you know, stress just isn't quite as intense. Depression starts going away. We feel energized, vital. And guess what? We see life around us blossoming. You know, flowers start blossoming, vegetables start showing up, fruit trees start happening. You know, flowers, vegetables, fruit, they start coming alive when the sun comes out, when the sun is out consistently. And of course, you know, vitamin D is vital for us, right? This is, and this is something we can get, we can create via the sun hitting our skin. But the activity of sun rays dancing on our skin, you know, penetrating our bodies, it's so much farther reaching than just vitamin D. And you know, we're talking about immune benefits, talking about well-being benefits. I have endless patients who feel better, just like I do in the summer versus the winter, right? Um, bone benefits, uh, relieving of stress, decreasing the risk of type one diabetes. Check that out. Look at that research. It's crazy. Um, there's many different cancers, uh, including um, you know autoimmune conditions like multiple sclerosis, which are decreased and lower with more sun exposure. So there's, there's also the effect of you know. Um, not, you may not know this, but beta endorphins, which are produced in the skin via sun exposure. So beta endorphins, you know, these are extremely benefit, beneficial to our nervous system and, and to our sense of pain. So if somebody's under pain a lot, they have, you know, the surgery, these kind of things, it's essential. I mean, get some sun exposure, make it so that pain is less intense on your being by upregulating those beta endorphins. So instead of getting sun exposure on a regular basis, we're blocking it by putting sunscreen on our body day after day. And you know, we're, we're not only missing out on the benefits of sun, but it, we are applying, you know, chemicals that just stay in our, they don't just stay in our skin, you know? What happens when we put stuff on our skin? 
our skin is permeable. We absorb it. It goes into our bloodstream, into our body, into our fatty tissue, um, in, into our liver, to our kidneys. Uh, you know, the, the precious resources that our body needs to detoxify, to cleanse us, is being bombarded by all this sunscreen. And, you know, most of us don't have enough resources with the world we live in. And we're already probably bogged down. Our livers are already under stress. And, uh, you know, our fat cells are already storing way too much toxic metabolites, right? Way too many estrogenic compounds. And these estrogenic compounds, guess what? They tend to be loaded, heavily loaded in sunscreen. And they, you know, they can promote all kinds of hormonal related cancers, especially breast cancer. So, and I would include prostate cancer in that mix of, of hormonal related cancers that would be um, propagated by these estrogenic like compounds, these synthetic estrogens. So I'm not here to spread fear and, and I'm, I'm here to recommend that you not be scared of the sun that the sun not be enemy number one for you, please. The sun is not something to be afraid of. The sun is something to be grateful to God for because it supplies so much life, so much sustenance of our being. And uh, without it, you know, things would be sure would be pretty moldy. You know, the sun is our friend. It energizes the whole earth and every human being turns us on. If, if you're going to be out in the sun, you know, for a considerable amount of time, then I would, you know, especially a hot sun, summers, you know, those kind of things or higher elevations, I would definitely wear sun protected. Um, and the best thing to do, and if you're out there a lot, and, and this is a very consistent occurrence, is to, you know, put a thin layer of clothing on, you know, that reflects the sun and, and wear a wide brimmed hat to protect your face um, and, 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 you know, wear some sunglasses to protect your eyes. And also consider that, you know, a diet that's loaded with real food, lots of colors, lots of awesome fats, um, you know, like grass fed beef, salmon, sardines, uh, olives, avocados, you know, these can naturally help us help reduce the oxidative stress caused by excess sun exposure, by, you know, the, these, these UV, this UV radiation hitting us on a regular basis. So, generally speaking, you know, the more junk food you consume, the more oxidative stress is happening in your body, the more problem, you know, that, that junk food, that junk drink, um, they're going to create, the, the sun is going to become harsh for you. It's going to be a problem for your body. You're going to run into issues. You're going to get burnt more easily. So if you're using some kind of sunscreen, um, number one, since I know some of you are going to kill, keep using stuff, you know, look for things like PABA, make sure it's not in there. Padamate, make sure it's not there. You know, the exo benzenes, benzones, make sure those aren't in there. Um, I'll have these written up, some of these names, because it's kind of intense, right? You know, anything that starts with like me methoxy, you want to make sure those are not present um, in your sunscreens. So take a look at the list I'm going to send you. That Also, like, look for nano silver, or sorry, not, nan not nano silver, but um, nano zinc particles. You want to make sure those are not present in your sunscreens. Um, and I would even conclude like your lipsticks. So many lipsticks have sunscreens in them now. Even makeups have sunscreens um, or these, these products in them that help are supposed to block the sun. But in reality, they, they, they're, they're irritants to our body. They, our body has to detox them because they're chemical um, agents that are um, not, not meant to be placed on human beings at all, really, but especially not on a daily basis. So when we are looking for... Uh, sunscreens to use i would look for ones that are using zinc oxide as the um the main ingredient to block the sun and really the, the only ingredient to block the sun look for zinc oxide and specifically uncoated zinc oxide you hear that uncoated zinc oxide uh, the reason being is that coated not uncoated but coated zinc oxide is a nanoparticle that is highly reactive and due to its really small size, nanoparticle size, uh, you know, it may much more easily penetrates our skin and gets into our bloodstream. You know, it breaks that barrier of our skin, um, and uh, you know, that can end up in all parts of our body, from our kidneys to our, our liver to our our heart um, to our brain. So make sure you're getting coated, uncoated zinc oxide, because coated is harmful. Even if even if you inhale it, it can actually um, uh, be very caustic to the lung tissue. Uh, and for those who are, you know, into the environment, which I think is reasonable to be into, um, in uh, considering our environment, the uh, coated zinc oxide it will degrade. Um, we know for sure the coral reef, uh, and so you know it's, it's caustic to a lot of uh, marine marine life as well. So the three brands, I do not have anything to do with these three brands. Well, I shouldn't say that. Um, the one band beauty counter, my wife is. She does. Um, 
whatever you call when you're like it's a network marketing company so she does um uh do that but um the three brands i know that use aluminum free uncoated zinc oxide are uh the beauty counter brand um all good and badger which uh you know we, we do carry all good at our office um and that's kind i usually use um be honest because the beauty counter is really expensive <laughs> um, though i have used it before the um so enjoy the sun you know cover up as needed but not all day every day it's winter time in washington state you do not need to be covering up do not be putting unless your doctor is telling you to do this and they have research to back it up do not be putting sunscreen on your face on your arms on your legs it's crazy i mean that's just that's just not normal that's, that's not to your benefit you need every ounce if you're on the higher latitudes of uh, the United States, you need every ounce of sun exposure you can get to al- aliven your body, to bring life to your being, to support your mood and, and, and uh, immune system. So enjoy the sun. Don't put sunscreen on every day unless you have some very specific reason that is a necessity and there's research to back that up. Uh, I'm Dr. Matt. I hope this is helpful. And um, I got more ideas more myths to be busted here in, in the near future. So please like, subscribe, send it to your, send it to your friends, coworkers, your, maybe your doctor, and um, say, hey, check this out. We wanna make sure we're, we are friends with the sun as opposed to um, trying to repel it from our life at all times. Talk to you guys later.